Hello! Welcome to Things with Strings. Today we are playing the eternally beloved evergreen Tennessee Waltz. Do you want to play melody? Do you want to play chords? Do you want to play melody and chords at the same time? Well, stick with me. I'm gonna take you through all of that. So let's get started. With my darling to the Tennessee Waltz When an old friend I happened to meet I introduced him to my loved one And while they were dancing My friend stole my sweetheart from me Now I know just how much I have lost Yes, I lost my little darling The night they were dancing That beautiful Tennessee Welcome to the first teaching segment of this video. Here is the melody one note at a time. And here are the taps shown down in the corner. You can play along with me. We are playing out of our D major scale. We're starting on third string. We go zero, two, four, and then zero on the second string, do that twice. And then 
comes the next bit, we're starting on 5th fret 2nd string, we go up the scale again like this, 5, 0, 2, 2, like, play that with me, we go 0 and then 5 below it on the 2nd string. And that's the first bit. So. And see if you can get the notes to ring out, it sounds much better. Here is the next part. It goes like this. Five, zero, five, three, four, two, zero, four, two. So I'm going five on second string. On zero, the first, five again on second, zero, and then on third string, fourth fret, second fret, second string, and loose second string, and then four two above. So and then we have the first bit again. You already know this. ends like this. So we go 5, 0, 5, 0, and then on 3rd string, 4, 5, 2, and then 6 above, and then lose 3rd string. And that's the A section. D part goes like this. So I go 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then the 4th is, is more like a, you can do a pull off to 0. And then I go 0, 2, and 5 on 2nd string, and 5 on 3rd string. So I do a string, string skip with my ring finger here. And then twice on second fret, second string. So some strings, string skipping here, and, um, and then we walk up the scale. So I go two, four, five, zero. Then I go fourth fret on third string and second fret. 0, 4, 2, above. So, this whole part sounds like this. Next bit. Then we walk up the scale. And the last part of the B section is uh, similar to A. It goes you already know this, and then I like to finish like this. So I go five, five, zero, four, five, two, six, zero. And then if you want to fill out the, the pause in between uh, until the next repetition of the E part, you can go if you want. It's just 0, 4, 0, 2, 5. It's just a little fiddle lick out of the D major scale. And that way you can fill out the pause if you want. And that's how you play the melody. Here are the chords for the song. And we need to know the chords uh, because it's nice and useful, but also so that we can uh, know what we need to do when we want to play chords and melody at the same time at the end of the lesson. So I like to start it out this way with a D major. 
and then I go to a D major 7 and then a D7 so you have to work your fingers this is the this is the D grip and I slide down my pinky and then when I get to the 7th chord I use my my middle finger instead okay and for the next section it goes to uh, a G, you should know this, one of the first chords all mandolin players learn. With an old friend. Now I can do a D like this. I happened to meet. And then um, you can either do an A major or you can do a uh, First you go to E, or maybe even E7, and then to E, maybe turn it into E7, so, and then it goes D again, it's the same thing again, and then we go to D, and A, and D. And that's the A section. Chords for the B section. Pretty similar. Start on D. I remember But we go directly to D7. Go to G. And then we go to D major again. And then either to A directly or E and then to A. And then the last bit is similar to what we've had. D, D major 7, D7, G, and D, and A, and D. And if you want to know what I'm doing with my right hand, I'm this is a, a waltz, so I'm basically uh, dividing it all into three beats, and on beat one, I just do a down pick on the top string, like this. And then on beat two and three, I strum the strings below it, so it's one. There's one way you can do it. Okay, let's move on to the last section. This section is a bit more advanced, so when you have the first two sections, then uh, you should work on this. We're gonna play the chords and the melody at the same time. So the concept that we're gonna be using when we want to play chords and melody at the same time is pretty simple, actually. The highest note that we hear at any point is picked up by the ear as being the melody but if we know what chords are beneath it then we can play notes from those chords at the same time so if my melody note is here then I want to play notes from the chord that is in the background on the top two strings if my note is here then I want to play notes from the chord on the top one strings if it's here, down in the very bottom, then I have all the strings above to play a chord. So that's the way we're going to go about it. So here is the first line. But I'm hitting this note, the top note from the D major at the same time. Then I go here. And what note is this? Why is this good? It's because it's the it's the major seventh from the D major seven chord that we transitioned into. And then we So this is the grip. Then I do the next bit. And then instead of just going I can do this. So this is a D 
D7 chord actually. So, so far we have. Go to the next bit. I like to do this 4 5 5 instead of just. I fill it out. So I pick strings from the G major, I notes from the G major about it. And for the next bit, again I have the notes from the second fret and loose uh, below, uh, above this. And then we go here. This is a bit of a stretch. I do second fret and then sixth fret above. It's because this is the the major third of the of the A chord that we transition to. So uh, we do the first part again. chord and here this is again the the major third of the the A major chord and then the melody actually moves down into this note so uh, just for a moment we don't have any extra notes ringing below but that's okay and then here, but we can pick again the second fret from the D chord above it, and then if we want for the B section, we go so this is just to take part of a D major chord above it, then we change the chord above it to a G7. Play down on all three strings. On the up st stroke, we pick a loose first string, and then we go. And we know the chord changed to a G, and we have this note, so we have a G chord above it, like this: four, five, five. And we just pick the note where our ring finger is, and we move our pinky and take. Uh, twice with our pointy like this. So we have we go up the scale and here's the D chord again. And I try to keep the notes ringing while I play the melody if I can. And we have the A chord again. Uh, and you know this part. To G and the D chord. And the A. the whole song. Alright, you made it. I'm proud of you. Good job on the piggy. Nice song, huh? Okay, that does it for this episode of Things with Strings. If there's anything else you want to learn about, be it mandolin related or any other string instruments, singing, songwriting, music theory, music production, just let me know. I come down with free lessons for you all the time. Until then, see ya.